about to be positioned. In they go, first line being locked away. So Miss Espresso still holds favouritism here at three ninety. Six dollars uh, currently on the New South Wales tab, but will run favourite on the tab fixed odds. First line away, second line is in. Big Skeeter, Miss Espresso in with tab out Dusty, and the green light is through. Lewis Travels all set for race number ten, the second last favourite out in the pink. Ready. Racing all pools moderately away. Nicely out towards the centre. There was Glenn Star, which is going to run to an early lead over. Pick it up and Miss Espresso. They'll follow the inside. Tap out Dusty. A break in the field then. Black Dakota. Bad Boy Katie's got a mole back into the field in company with the all pools coming up to the corner. And the flashy white dog, Glenn Star, is going to turn in front. Two clear. Trying to pick it up. The inside was pick it up. But Glenn Star all the way from pick it up. Tap out Dusty's run third, fourth. Miss Espresso. A break in the field. Black Dakota. Bad Boy Katie. Well, back then was Big Skeeter. And Miss Espresso never sighted the round time of around 22 and 8. Number 5, the winner, Glenn Starr. She's always had a lot of ability. She likes to use a bit of the track. That's a ninth win here at uh, Richmond. She's by Glenn Gallon out of Blue Evening. Named and trained by Jacqueline Davis. Number 9, the reserve second. Pick it up, Joanne Zammett. And 6 has run third. Tap out, Dusty Rodney Masella. And number 8, Miss Espresso, which I might have called twice over the lines, run fourth. 5, 9, 6 and 8. 14, 53, the run home. 22, 79, quite a handy run. A length and a half either way, the margins. A length and a half either way. 8.26 there was the first split. And the winner just simply too good. Uh, Miss Espresso was only moderately away. She got uh, just trapped a little wide through the pen. And she really never got herself into the race. All Pauls was always a minute off. And Black Dakota was always well back. But Glenn Starr, once uh, she led, she's always going to be hard to beat. She travels well when she's able to assume that early lead. She's had her just over 100 starts. And that's 16 wins for an hour. But we've had nine of them have been here at Richmond, a track that she's always uh, gone extremely well at so five nine six and eight we've got one to go here this evening race 11 the last take out five and ten and the final event due at 627 and paul will have the tote shortly on the previous